Well, it started the door-to-door -door vax program in good old Milwaukee, the gay land. Milwaukee launches new door-to-door -door program to get people vaccinated. So what the fuck does corporate media have to say about this? Holy shit. Clinics closed in our area. Community leaders are taking a new approach to get those vaccination numbers up. CBS Why? Amanda Becker takes us to a place where they say vaccine numbers are low. Oh my goodness. Just off of Keefe, this is one of 15 zip codes that the Community Mobilization Project is going to. They're bussing people in. They're bussing people in with a, com they're bussing people in with a community mobilization project. So I think the mayor, Tom Baird, is in on this. This is like a state-sponsored busing in program where they're going door to door to harangue uh, underserved, as they put it, or what is it? Yeah, you know, community mobilization project will base Buston, Sixth and Key to start knocking on doors, Wowzers, low outreach areas. That's kind of how they put it, Wowzers. Or and trying to get more people vaccinated. That our hospitalizations are is. down, that our deaths are down, that is all good. Mobilizer! Wednesday afternoon, this Milwaukee launched its new community mobilization project. It oh aims to get God, more people. Oh my God, dude! Could you imagine if these motherfuckers showed up to your goddamn door like this, looking like this, with their masks up, with the fucking corporate and political 501c3 nonprofit logoage and branding on it? Like, <laughs> oh man, uh. How many shotguns have they been greeted at the door or the front door with? Oh, man. How many? F oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. What an obnoxious thing. In 15 of Milwaukee's most underserved zip codes. Underserved. That is the well, terminology. We really have to meet people where they are in their lives. Now, leave in them the fuck days, alone, dude. About 50 employees and... <laughs> She's like, man, what you doing? I'm knocking on a dang old dope. That's exactly the expression, though, isn't it? That's the expression one would have at a moment like this. Like, you're knocking my dang old door like this. For what? We're like a year and a half now into this thing. You know, we've had, like, ass to dick George Floyd fucking riots for how long those motherfuckers didn't have to stay fucking vaccinated, masked, or social distanced. And now it's it's like they won't shut up about Delta variant. They won't shut up about vaccinate this, that, or the other. They're probably going to try to get us back into masks, but... This is the facial expression that I think is, you know, on a lot of Americans' faces, just collectively. This is the collective <laughs> facial expression of Americans right now. Is you really, you showing up to my fucking door for this now? 50 employees and volunteers have already knocked on more than 1,000 doors dun, 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 and dun, vaccinated dun, dun, dun. 137 people in their own homes. They can listen. They listen to people, what their concerns are. They respond to the... Lorraine Lathan is probably getting like a five or six figure stipend from the government to be the director of the Community Mobilization Project. Man, that just sounds Both sketch. They share their own journey. Lorraine Lathan is the director of the project. She says it was important to make sure the people going door to door are the people who live in these communities themselves. One census track alone can be like 3,000 people. And one Cens these themselves. Census track and a sketch, but dude, look at how underserved this goddamn lawn is. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I'm no landscaper, like lawn, spe lawn care specialist myself, and, uh, you know, as much of a slacker as anybody, but god damn, holy crap, look at how much of a forest they have there. Not well, very health conscious. One census track alone can be like 3,000 people. In one census track, we're trying to reach 297 census tracks. So I hope that kind of gives paints the picture for people who it's are data mining. leaving one of these flyers on their door in hopes to connect with them <sighs> at a better time. Sketch. Reporting in Milwaukee, Amanda Becker, CBS. Yeah, shut up, Amanda Becker. Get back in the Galdern kitchen. Going door to door. Yeah. Door to door va COVID vaccine effort in Milwaukee. Yeah, so. It's just, it's just, you know, outreachers. It's just people with t-shirts showing up at your freaking door wearing these fucking surgical masks this person's like got the exact same expression like huh again with this uh, okay well i'm really annoyed and confused but uh, i i suppose uh <laughs> you know <laughs> what is this video yeah, as on. they hop off a school bus a group of community mobilizers start mobilizers project within 21 days of being in operations, 
Um, and with the addition of the Milwaukee City Health Department as well as the Fire Department, we can't thank them enough. We have been able These to get the scumbags. 37 residents. Organizers say so far they've reached 1,471 households. Their goal to get people in underserved Milwaukee communities the COVID-19 vaccine. All right, well done. During today's door-to-door -door event, success as one man gets vaccinated. What's been the best the outcome? Back? Community mobilizer. Dude, he's wasted. Says, he's fucking hammered. They're taking advantage of a hammered old senile man. His family lives in this area and shares why he wants to see more people in his community vaccinated. I had a few friends who I grew up with to die from it, and I've had extended family members die from it to better the situation that Shirley Smith yeah, is yeah, yeah. Mark AME Dude, Church. we're done with this vaccination efforts. Smith says she lost her younger sister to COVID-19 last year. This has not only been a opportunity for me to serve, it has been an opportunity for me to venture out and help those that are less fortunate than the others to get it's hawksterism the dude that they need we're using these door-to-door -door opportunities milwaukee's health commissioner says community vaccination is the primary goal but that's not all education about covid 19 vaccine answering questions and giving people the opportunity to voice their concerns is also critically important well i mean i have a concern i mean haven't haven't pretty much all these people already had the gall during covid covid so therefore as i've said before and as you don't need to be a fucking lab coat to acknowledge getting a vaccine for something that you've already had doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, but yeah, <laughs> if you conservatives want government waste, you know, you could stop saying, you know, arr, 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 the government did a thing, the Democrats, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is, this is just like the health commission is giving these community, what is it, community outreachers uh, to go to underserved communities, bussing them in giving them these like trendy looking branded t-shirts and bags and door hangers and touch screens. And I mean, this is a lot of funding, a lot of government waste to give people a useless vaccine. They don't fucking need. And it's like, Oh, people died. So let's just keep having a really weird screwed up society with its antisocial people have creepy, disgusting snot rags on their faces. <laughs> I don't know. I, for one, am going to advocate for a different society where people just shut the fuck up and, like, go to see a rock show at a festival, you know? Quit whining about masks or quit whining about me having to wear one and be vaccinated. But anyway, if you have a video request, hit me up on subscribestar.com slash Durst the Worst, and I will do my best to accommodate you. But until then, uh, subscribe, bitch.